Hello everyone and welcome back to what we like to call Impossible Bromance here in Master of Orion with the 5x Ultimate Balance mod. I'm Mal and I'm once again joined by the illustrious Il Capitan Sabouts. Hello Sabouts! Mal, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> oh yeah? So, last time we ended our, we wrapped up our series or our little episode there with um, us going through the turn sequence and right as we stopped recording and the turn sequence finished out, the Cylons had moved off their home planet and attacked the cruiser I had set out for bait with their fleet. Yeah. So, it worked. Now, <laughs> I told you it would work. Now I can just... Wow, the AI is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now I can destroy their fleet and then their home planet is completely up for the taking. And I guess the real question is, what comes next? Well, okay. So, true story. I uh, I was shaving. I know people are going to be like, what the hell is Mal saying? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was, I was shaving. And uh, so I'm in the bathroom, I'm shaving. And I don't know what happened. I was like, I was just looking in the mirror. And I'm like, okay, la la la, doing my thing. And then it hit me. What if we could just isolate their home world and just blockade it uh, and then just do like tons of espionage on it to steal their tech because once you destroy that fleet over there and then park yourself around Mentar 2 even with a couple of ships they're not going to be able to buy anything they're, they're going to build what the occasional ship they really won't be able to do anything so we could yep. just basically drain tech from them I think that's a really good idea. I mean, that's the nice part about this game is we don't really take... Well, I wouldn't know if I'd say nice, but uh, one mechanic on this game that's not in this game that's in a lot of games is we don't actually take any negative modifiers from being at war for an infinite amount of time, really. Right. Yeah, there's so, no war weariness thing like civilization, exactly. and there's there's no like detrimental um, diplomacy thing because, well, because they don't have any friends, so... You know, yeah, basically so why them. not just <laughs> why not just sit on their planet and just steal all of their tech? It'll almost be like we have two research trees. That's what I'm saying. Take all the things. Let's take all the things from them. This is brilliant. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to start laying everything out now, starting with destroying their fleet. Oh, I have an excellent chance. Who would have guessed? Well, you outgun them by like what? Four to one, five to one, something like that. Did you even take yeah, any damage? Even... I didn't even take any damage. Yeah, so now... I think a destroyer lost, like, maybe, like, five points of health. Maybe break off, like, I don't know. Well, I, I gotta go over there and destroy their, uh, all their defenses. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And then leave a couple ships behind to blockade it. But that should work fine, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, there is a scout there. I'm a little worried about that. Yeah, well, that's, uh, you know, that's scary biz. That is scary biz. So, yeah, that's going to be a little tricky. I'll have to kind of play play my <laughs> cards right. But <laughs> <sighs> See, we're, we're actually, what we're doing is we're preparing our scumbaggery because, you know, it's we're recording this towards the end of March of 2017, which means that Stellaris' new expansion, Ooh. Utopia, is coming out. And for those of you that maybe watched that previous series uh, or not, but this next one, instead of being good guys, we're going to be scumbags. So it's going to be bromance, brute force. So we're sort of practicing our scumbaggery skills here in Master of Orion. Exactly. And that's very important. I mean, we need to make sure that we're super in tune with our inner douche to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to really pull that series off. Uh, well, we were, I mean, we were, we were pretty much nice guys. The last time i mean we tried yeah, to be I mean, anyway uh well we everything we did we did out of love right right we're taking we're taking your worlds from you we're, we're bringing freedom <laughs> yeah think. we were delivering freedom we're delivering i mean freedom I, to you i don't see anything wrong with that i don't either i thought it was fine all right i jumped to the next turn all right and i will be catching up with you in just a second What kind? This is a science planet. But it's actually a pretty good colony ship making planet, so we'll do that. I'm building battleships like they're going out of style, man. That's what I'm doing. Building the battleships. 
Yeah, I've got tons of battleships just getting slammed out like it's cool. What's that other group that's building a spiritual successor to Master Orion 2? It's like the the Space Sectors project or something like that? Um, Depends. I know a, to Master of Orion 2, I know several. Well, there's more. I know that, well, but that's been in development. I don't, I don't know if that's ever going to release. Remnants of the Precursor, they're Master of Orion 1, and there's Dominus Galaxia, uh, Dominus Galaxia, which is, I think that's also actually Master of Orion 1. But there's a couple people out there cranking some stuff out, which is pretty cool. I was looking at, I, I think it, I think it's, I think it's Space Sector, Project Space Sector, I think it's what it's called. Uh, project was, oh the, from the space sector website yeah yeah they've got a okay. whole i was i was looking at that project overview their timeline for things and that they're, i mean they look, i mean you look at their what they're constructing and when that looks kind of interesting they're supposed to have a some kind of a alpha state in q2 of this year of 2017 huh yeah well so. I'm kind of i'm kind of uh intrigued well i mean i i imagine you would be you know I, yeah, I'd be curious to see what they uh, what they have. I promise I'm getting to the next turn. <laughs> I was I was gonna say that's okay. I'm I, I haven't done my taxes yet this year, so I was just gonna go ahead. <laughs> oh, good. Well, now I was gonna, gonna go ahead and work on want, those. While honestly, if you want to start, that would now would probably be the best time. <laughs> no, I I really should be. I I mean I am queuing like multiple things up here and there where I can, but um, this is uh, quite Im impressive. Like this one, I can queue. Some of them I can't queue multiple things up because I just don't have. Um, there's just nothing. To, but you could you could I, go to the next turn and then queue them up that turn. You could. Oh, I don't even know. How, I don't even know how to do that. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm, it's possible. I don't even know how to. I can skip to the next turn right now. Or the game won't let me right until I finish. Oh. Uh, wow. Yeah. So there's certain things like there's certain things, like this one I can queue up multiple, but a lot of the stuff I've already built everything. So you can just um, put them on trade goods I, then, if you're not building anything else there. Yeah, which is what I'll usually do, um, but I sometimes try not to do that occasionally only if for the reason um, I, will, I will forget they're on trade goods for like years. <laughs> yeah, there we go. For years, man, I'll, I'll forget. All right. All right. So our first turn. Our first turn took us a while, like a third of the episode, basically. So we were going to have whoa, to. Whoa, whoa, We had we had some we had some talking in there. Well, we had some important. discussion points. Okay, all right, all right. I'll I'll credit you three minutes on the discussion points. But now um, we got to we got to yeah. move we got to move with some alacrity because people want to see us smash faces. The Illyrians want a non-aggression pact. Uh, yeah, sure, take it. And they're also going to pay me two whole credits. I think that's worth it. But the fact that they are willing to pay me, I think I'm more powerful than them. Well, no, I, that's not that's not what the score chart says at all. I don't know. I can't look at it yet. But when the turn, I can almost just a lucky guess. They were really up there on the score chart. Let's see. Let's take a look. Actually, the Trillarians are pretty up there. Yeah, the Trillarians are still first. Alarians are second. But yeah, no, making 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 nice with them is is fine since we're gonna go after the humans next. All right, so I'm gonna knock out the Cylons. It's gonna take probably a good amount of my ships, but yeah, that's good though. And I'm gonna start setting up some espionage yeah. on them right now because I've got some level five guys that I can do it with. So let's see, infiltrate, right. infiltrate the Cylons. Start that mission. I've got a colony ship, but I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I guess I should just start filling in the blanks. Like, this is a science planet. I just sent three high-level spies to infiltrate their empire. Oh, good. Okay, I've got to set, uh, send one to... Yep, that's something I need to do as well. Take that. And looking at espionage, who do I have available? I've got a level three. What's your high level spy? Probably much higher than mine. 
Uh, I've got like three... Let's see, one, two... I've got two level fives and another one about to be level five. And then, Yeah, you're a lot higher than me, okay. And then fours and threes. That's why I well, trained them so early, so that they would just be idling there getting XP. Yeah, I'll go ahead then and I'll send this uh, guy off. Okay, this is a science planet, so really what it needs to be doing is trade goods. Well, okay, feeling, so it can do that after this destroyer. I'm feeling a little bit better about my fleet. It's getting tougher. You know what? Just realize. Where's your fleet right now? In Morlatch? Morlock? Oh, yep. Morlatch? Okay. Ten, about, it's about 1,000 offense and 8,600 defense. kind of research you working on uh what am i working on subspace uh, physics okay and i'm going for the administration interplanetary administration subspace physics okay wow yeah that's pretty far ahead of me you're going for the phasers right no we already have phasers you're going for subspace communications I am... And miniaturization cannons level 3 is not bad either. Correct. Yeah, so miniaturization tech and then subspace communication. Not that we really need the extra command points, but hey. Might as well, right? Might as well, yeah. And then I'm going to go for uh, probably multi-phased physics. Because we could get multi-phased shields or we could get hard shields, which would be kind of nice. That's like a flat damage reduction, which is pretty cool. Yep. And then advanced military outpost is under advanced tactics. That's nice. So, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. I've got a bunch of, like, low-hanging fruit tech I need to get also. That I just need to pass through. I wouldn't mind having, um... What is it? Not subterranean farms, but the one past that. Oh, transgenics gives you Gaia transformation. That would be kind of nice to have. Yeah, that would be pretty big. You on the next turn? Should I, should I guess I am. You gotta say something to me, man. You oh, gotta, you, oh, you, oh, you're good. You gotta say just something? hit next whenever you can. That's kind of what I'm. As soon as I can hit next, I just hit it, and then I deal. Since I can still mess with stuff, I, I deal with stuff as I'm waiting. Went through and queued a few more things up and whatnot. So we're agreed. We're still gonna go after the humans next, right? Yes. Our good, our good friends, the humans. Yeah, our, our best pals. Our good buddies. Our good pals, the humans. They're gonna... We're gonna go visit them. See how they're doing. I'm gonna send my fleet to Katab. Not really worried about the, Woodbeard uh, Prime. Trellarians have Titans, by the way. And they are s scary. It's a good thing they're... Trellarians are... are... It's a good thing they're, they're our allies. Yeah, let's hope that this stays that way. I think we're okay, because I think there's enough friction between the Trilarians and the Elarians. Like, the, their borders match up, they're, you know, they're ranked one and two, so while they're kind of like at a stalemate or potentially going to war with each other, then yep. you and I are going to go punch the humans ticket, and that should push us forward. So should I, should I head towards the humans right now? Um, you might want to just come out, well, yeah, because you're going to attack from the south, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It'll take me 10 turns to get there with my main fleet. I've got other ships right now that are coming to blockade. But I'm going to send more ships down here, actually. Okay. Perfect. So that's all set up and ready to go then. I'm not building, like, missile bases on all my planets, but I am getting them on some of them. I'm just getting them on ones that are potentially sort of the high-risk worlds. Yep. I mean, that makes sense.
All right. Man, pollution's something I'm still kind of dealing with a little bit. Yeah, matter converter helps. That's 15 pollution reduction if you don't have that tech yet. So that can help I... potentially. Don't believe I do have matter. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. I will have to look into that one. This one is a this is a science planet. This is a production. This is science. You know what else I'm doing is I'm recalling my commanders because I had them on cruisers. I'm going to re reassign them to some of my battleships. And That's a good idea. I actually should move mine too. I'm going to recall my production administrator and send... Send it to Morlatch here in a in a little bit. Oh man, interplanetary administration. Um, what's your research level at now? Five sixty six. Okay, I'm at five forty, so I'm catching up a little bit. I just wanna. I was. I feel a lot better now. Now I don't feel like I have to push for science as much. I just. I was lagging behind so much. Because I already know the AI gets boosts, so using you is kind of a, uh, an example for where I need to be for science. Because the AI would be like super unnatural since they get like, you know, probably like a 50%, 60%, 70% increase in tech. They're, they're more than whatever we are. Yeah, yeah. Because they have, they have definitely surpassed us tech-wise. Uh, tech That'll be like our biggest thing too, is trying to survive till we're kind of all around the same tech and then. Yeah, eventually, eventually we'll start to get the same kind of economies of scale that, that the AI is getting. We just don't have enough colonies quite yet, but we're, but what we do have, we are kind of maximizing it. So exactly. Let's see. Negotiations, espionage training, advanced missile base. I'm giving you matter converter right now, by the way. Okay, good. Perfect. And looks like you're short for a research agreement. I don't think we need to worry about those anymore, though, truth be told. Well, actually, no, we should definitely do that unless it's like super expensive because I actually dropped almost 70 research points. I don't uh, know what years yeah, look like. Yeah, I dropped like 40. You're probably getting a bigger benefit from it, but that's fine. Um, you need 300 credits, something like um, that. So hold on. Okay. Credits. Here, we'll do it like this. 350. I think that's enough. And then annual tribute. Here, do that. Okay. And that should give you the cash. And then go back in again. This is a science plan. Did you accept that deal? Yep. Yep. Oh, huh, why is it not reflecting? Well, let's see. Try maybe back out and try it again. Your <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hold on. You're short just a few credits, so I'll just send you some more credits. Oh, just a few, is it? Yeah, like seven, I think, you were sure. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maths is hard. Maths is hard. I can't do the maths. Can't do it. There we go. Finally, research ah, agreement. Love it. Okay, so... What we got over here? Got it. So that mat that matter converter, like I said, is worth uh, fifteen pollution. So that's pretty, it's pretty solid. 
Okay, perfect. I'm gonna start. I'll start throwing it on the planets I need it on. Um, I'm building toxic processors still on some of them, but now the rest of them seem to have balanced out. So they're looking pretty good. Yeah, they're doing all right. Yeah, actually, that was worth 80 research, so okay, maybe it is worth it then. Yeah, I got a lot, actually. Ooh, personal shield for advanced missile base. Um, You can eat something, humans. <laughs> I'm not going to give you advanced missile base. I'm about to crush you in a second. Yeah, yeah, no. We're not giving you, you know, planetary Defense. defenses. Exactly. New way that's, that scale crazy. New, new, new. And... Okay, so I'm going to attack from Morlatch to Corbeau, right? That was the plan, that I'm going to go through the north side of their territory, and you're going to go from Galactic South, right? Correct. Katab, Sol, Wabir, Yildum. I've got five more turns before I infiltrate the Cylons. Have you infiltrated yet? Uh, Let me check. We're probably on the same time frame here. Oh, yeah, I think we started at the same time. Yeah, I got five turns before my infiltrations are done. Okay. Okay, now what am I going to go after? This is a good question. This is going to be a science planet at some point. remember what the next research building is ah the auto lab right you know what I'm gonna run up to that I think You're running to where? Uh, I'm going to run up to Autolab. Finally, my advanced colony ships are done. That took a while. It took a long while, actually. I built two of them at the same time. It's like 15, oh, they take, it's like 15 yeah. turns, man. I Easily mean, it's worth 15. it. It's worth it. Don't get me wrong. It is worth it. But yeah, they are pricey. Like no yeah, joke. Yeah, if not more. I think mine would take, usually it's about 10, it's about, about 10 turns almost for me. And I just got done building a fresh planet. Huge, barren, abundant, normal gravity. That's what I just got from that um, in Gehenna. That's what I just got from that. Asteroid. Nice. Belt. Yep. So now I'm going to go to Temech Prime. I need some more, uh, for that matter, I need some more uh, uh, space factories, now that I'm thinking of it. Space factories? Yeah, I need a couple more so I can get this work done quicker. I mean, we could probably start attacking. The, I mean, we can start attacking the humans whenever you want, really. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're really not. Let me make sure my defenses are all up to snuff. They I are. Mean, once I take Corbo, I mean, they can't. They're not going to be able to pass. I mean, they're not going to be able to get around, so it doesn't really matter. Exactly. Yeah, Corbo. And I'm looking at Og Og Ogima or Ogima or whatever system that is. They might try to go into it, but oh well. 
I could put defenses up. They do have a pretty large fleet outside of it. Oh, this is interesting. So the Borathi, this is kind of cool. The Borathi are offering antimatter bomb, personal shield, stealth shield, and 313 credits if all declare war on the Alarians. And I'm going to say no to that, but thanks, Space Bear, for your, you know, for your asking. Appreciate wow. the offer. Interesting. They really wanted you to declare war on the... Well, because they, remember, they've been at war with them for, like, what? Oh, over, well over 100 turns. Yeah, easily. That, that war must not be going too well if they're solicit, trying to solicit help. Yeah. They're desperate. Oh, the, I mean, the, the, you can look at the path to victory. The Balrathi aren't doing too hot compared to the Illyrian, so... Matter of fact, I just finished a trade agreement with them, and I won't be re-upping it, simply because I don't want to... I don't want to piss off the Illyrians right now. Yeah, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to. Okay, if I'm sending this big fleet down here, I should take this smaller fleet and send it up here for defense. Because they've got a pretty large fleet there. But if I send that one up for defense, they definitely won't attack me. Oh, I'm finally about to have advanced government. Oh, nice, nice. All right, well, why don't we do this then? Uh, but instead of starting the war, because we're right here at the end of the episode, why don't we just get yep. in position and then go, maybe go a couple turns until we're ready to fight and then just pick it up from there? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. All right, folks. Well, we're going to jump into a war with the humans uh, in theory at the beginning of the next episode. So I hope that you enjoyed this one and our scumbaggery plan to basically steal additional tech from the Cylons. <laughs> if you did. Oh, genius. Right, it was, it, was, it was like just totally scumbag, but I like it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, he's about. I am Mal, and we'll see you later. <laughs>